five popular Creed fragrances and their affordable counterparts. You know the brand of Creed is super expensive. It's one of those niche brands where you're gonna be spending circa $500 for a bottle, and I'm talking about like the 3.4 ounce flasks. So of course it goes without saying that these fragrances are a luxury item. They are super pricey. I'm gonna be giving you five fantastic affordable options to purchase in place of the popular creeds. So make sure to stay tuned. Now, before I begin today's episode and I give you my thoughts on these five affordable options that can be worn in place of these super expensive Creed fragrances. And of course, it goes without saying that I love the brand of Creed. I have purchased so many Creed fragrances throughout the years, but of course, from time to time, we will need to pick up some clones or dupes or whatever you wanna call it if we wish to preserve what's in the real bottle. But I wanna start the video off first by saying that if you're a fan of fragrance-related content, and of course, if you love smelling your best, hit subscribe, hit the bell, and give this video a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm. It would really mean a lot to me. So, Creed, is an amazing brand, right? Um, they have so many really expensive fragrances from Silver Mountain Water to Arolfa to Himalaya to Aventus to this to that. I have been purchasing Creed fragrances for about 12 or 13 years now, and I'm really a huge fan of the brand. I have my Green Irish Tweed. I have all of these beautiful fragrances from the brand, but the truth of the matter is that sometimes we need a more affordable option. So here's the thing. If you wanna get yourself a, a Creed fragrance either at a discount or you just just want to get a sample to try it, you can use a service like Sensplit. I think they're amazing. However, if you want to get a dupe, I'm going to make some recommendations in this list. Let's go ahead and start things off with, we might as well get this one out of the way, Creed Aventus. Now this is probably the brand's, uh, well I know it's the brand's bestseller, but it's the biggest compliment getter from the brand. Smelling it, I'm like, wow, I can see why people compliment you on it. It has this bright sparkling Refreshing effervescent pineapple ingredient in the opening. There's black currant, there's bergamot, there's birch tar, which makes it a little smoky. You have this smooth base of vanilla. In place of Aventus, you can actually get Afnan Supremacy Silver. There are so many affordable options on the market. I can make a top 10 of just Creed Aventus clones. But today I'm gonna to be talking about this one, Supremacy Silver by Afnan. And this one, there's a lot more lemon in the opening. So it does open up very citrusy, but what I really do enjoy about this one is that I do pick up on the smoke. I feel like a lot of these Aventus alternatives, they are, or they have done away with the smoke. And I think the reason for that is because a lot of the more recent batches of Aventus have really dialed down the birch tar, but Afnan Supremacy Silver is really, really good. This is for men. This one is marketed for the ladies. Creed Carmina, one of the most beautiful rose-based fragrances on the market. It's so smooth and sensual and delicate. And I really love this one. It is so pretty. To be honest, I prefer Queen of Silk. That sort of a spicy, resinous, passion fruit thing that's happening in there. But Carmina is the one that I would sooner recommend just because I personally feel like Queen of Silk has more of like a experimental DNA. I don't know if that's necessarily the right word to use, but Carmina is absolutely gorgeous. Instead of that, you can get the Poem by the Dua brand. And you can kind of tell, well, maybe not 100% similar color, but as far as the aesthetic is concerned, there's a little bit of uniformity. So definitely recommend getting the Poem in place of it. I don't know if it's one of the $33 Duas that you can pick up, but if you are shopping on the weekends, that's always the best time for them to have deals on fragrances. So anyway, this one, phenomenal. We also have, and apparently I've been hearing that this is a limited edition and they had only several batches made, so on and so forth. I don't know if that's true. I don't know if I fully believe that, but this one is Absolu Aventus. So I picked this one up maybe a couple months after it came out and I was very excited about this one for the simple fact that it takes that Aventus DNA, makes it a bit darker or a bit um, more grown up. I hate to say that because Aventus in and of itself is very grown up, but this is like a spicier Aventus. So you do get a lot of spices. It might be for some reminiscent of fragrances like Dior Sauvage Elixir or Roja Parfum Apex. Uh, but this one definitely takes Aventus and 
somehow manages to masculinize it even further. Instead of this fragrance, you can actually pick up, and this one is by the brand Inash, Royal Noir Absolute. I really like the presentation on this too. You see how it comes out there? Yeah, and it's so good. It has that compliment factor. It has that juicy pineapple and the citrus in the opening. And of course, the Inash is a really solid, inexpensive alternative to this one. And for that reason, I really enjoy it. Now, here's one that I purchased many, 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 many years ago. And this is one that, of course, gets compared to Mont Blanc Individuel, and some people even compare it to Yop Um. And I can see why. This one is Original Santal by Creed. So sandalwood, cinnamon, rosemary, lavender, maybe not rosemary, I think juniper, but it definitely has some aromatic ingredients in the heart, composed by Pierre Bourdon, same gentleman who did Green Irish Tweed, and he's a phenomenal perfumer and also Cool Water by Davidoff. This one is incredible. Instead of getting that one, you can also get another Inash fragrance, and it's called Perfect Man. Once again, I really do love how these align, at least from a visual standpoint, with the aesthetic of the brand. So this one does have like this red orangey hue about it. And it does come very close. And I actually did a video on this. I'm not sure when I'm publishing it, if I'm gonna publish it before this video or after it. Perfect Man by Inash comes very, very close to original Santal. And the longevity on it is also fairly solid. It's gonna give you in the vein of like seven hours on skin projection at an arm's length for an hour. So Perfect Man by Inash is a really, really good alternative to that one. So here's the thing, brand new one. So it's always hard to find dupes, clones, alternatives, impressions, whatever you wanna call it, of brand new fragrances, no matter what brand we're talking about. Here specifically, we're talking about the brand of Creed, and of course, the two brand new ones from the brand, yes, Queen of Silk came out in 2024 as well. I'm specifically talking about Delphinus and Centaurus. I purchased this one as soon as I saw it was available. I spent 400 bucks for it or something. Centaurus is an amazing, spicy, cinnamony, even though I prefer Delphinus, so I have to be honest about that one, but this is a spicy, cinnamony, amber fragrance with some warm, rich, balsamic, almost incense -y qualities, and it's definitely the more masculine of the two, I think. Delphinus is perfectly unisex with that sort of smoky, iris, amber thing happening in the dry down. Also perhaps a bit sweeter than Centaurus, but Centaurus is this very go-getter, out going, you know, gregarious type of a composition. And believe it or not, there's already an alternative for it on the market. Not only is there an alternative, it smells so similar to Centaurus. Do not miss your opportunity to get this one because I have a feeling it's going to sell out. And it's by the Dua brand and it's called the Centaur Constellation. I got this in the mail and I sprayed it, not knowing what to expect, and it smells so similar to Centaurus. You really have to try this one. I'm really, really impressed by the quality of this one. And I just really love how quickly the Dua brand is working to put out brand new releases, impressions of brand new releases, and the longevity on this one, 10 plus hours extra de parfum concentration. Not only that, they also have their version of the brand new Black Lacquer by Tom Ford, and it's called Black Shine. And I have a bottle of that as well. I'm planning on doing an in-depth review. But in any case, five really popular Creed fragrances and alternatives that I can get behind. These are all ones that I have worn and I can vouch for their quality and their performance and the comparison to the original. Which of these are your favorites? What do you like to wear as an alternative to more popular Creed fragrances? Drop your comment down below. And of course, if you took anything of value from today's episode, I would really appreciate it if you would consider supporting the channel by clicking subscribe, hitting the bell, and giving this video a thumbs up. Thanks again so much for tuning in. I love you all, and we'll see you tomorrow with a new episode. Bye.